Hello, students. Good evening. Uh, good evening to all of you. So uh, today we will do exercise five of sequence and series chapter. So uh, let's begin. Let's begin with question number one, exercise five. So it is saying if the aim of two positive numbers A and B is twice of their GM. Okay, so two numbers are there, A and B. So what will be the arithmetic mean of these two numbers? It will be A plus B upon two. And uh, what will be the geometric mean? Geometric mean of these two numbers will be under root AB. Now question is saying the arithmetic mean is twice the geometric mean. So we can write it as A plus B upon two is equal to 2 times the root of AB. So squaring both uh, both sides, we will get A square plus B square plus 2AB is equal to, this will be 4 into 4, 16AB, right? So A square plus B square minus 14AB is equal to 0. So, uh, Divide it by uh, AB. So dividing by AB, we will get A by B plus B by A minus 14 is equal to 0, right? So uh, let us assume A by B is equal to X. Assuming that we will have X plus 1 by X minus 14 is equal to 0. So it will become x square plus 1 minus 14x is equal to 0. So it is a quadratic in x. Let me rewrite it as x square minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to minus b means 14 plus minus under root b square. 14 squared is nothing but 196 minus 4ac. ac are 1, so it will be 4 only upon 2a. Right, so it will become 14 plus minus under root of 192, under root of 192 upon 2. So under root of 192 will be uh, 64 into 3. So 8 will come outside of the root and root 3 will be as it is. So x, this divided by 2. So we are having two values of x. Let uh, us take first value as x1. It will be 7 plus 4 root 3. And x2 will be 7 minus 4 root 3. And what is x? x is nothing but a by b. Now in the question, it is given that a is greater than b. Right? So if a is greater than b, if a is greater than b, then this ratio must be greater than 1. But here, if you see 7 minus 4 root 3 is less than 1. Hence, we will reject this value. This value will be not accepted. And we have to find the ratio of a is to b only. So uh, a is to b is equal to 7 plus 4 root 3. Right? We can... Uh, Rewrite it as uh, 4 plus 3 plus 4 root 3. So it will become 2 squared plus root 3 squared plus 2 into 2 into root 3. So it will become 2 plus root 3 whole squared. Right? So uh, we can further simplify it as 2 plus root 3. 2 plus root 3 and uh, uh, multiplying by its conjugate in numerator and denominator, what we will get? We will get 2 plus root 3 upon 2 minus root 3 into this thing will become a square minus. We can apply the formula. This is a plus b into a minus b. So it will become a square minus b square b square is 3 so it will become 1 right so this complete value will become 2 plus root 3 upon 2 minus root 3 
So this will be our answer. So A is to B will be two plus root three upon two minus root three. Hence option A is correct. Option A is correct for this question. Okay. So let's move to the next question. What is there in next question? If A1, A2, G1, G2 and H1, H2 are two arithmetic geometric and harmonic means respectively between quantities A and B. Okay. So there are two arithmetic means between A and B. There are two geometric means between A and B. And there are two harmonic means between A and B. Right. So these are arithmetic means, these two are geometric means, and these two are harmonic means. Then which of the following is not the value of AB? Like we have to find the, uh, okay, we will go through options and we will check whether that value is equal to AB or not. So uh, let's take the first option, A1 into H2. So uh, what will be A1? What will be A1? We can write A1 as 2A plus B upon 3. And what will be H2? What will be H2? H2 is the second harmonic mean between A and B, right? So we can write it as 3 upon. This will be 1 by A plus 2 by B, right? We used to write harmonic means uh, in this way only. So let's simplify it. It will become 2a plus b upon 3. This, uh, taking ab as uh, LCM in the denominator, this ab will go in the numerator and it will become b plus 2a, right? So here we can see this 2a plus b will be cancelled out, this 3, this 3 will be cancelled out. So we are left with ab. So a1, h2 is equal to ab, right? Hence option a cannot be the answer because we have to derive the value which is not equal to ab. So a1, h2 is equal to ab, hence this cannot be our answer. Let's check the second option. So let's check out second option B. So this is B is equal to A2 into H1. So what will be the second, what will be the value of A2? A2 is the second arithmetic mean between A and B. So we can write A2 as A plus 2B upon 3. Okay. And H1, what will be the value of H1? It is the first harmonic mean between A and B. So H1 will be equal to 3 upon 2 upon A plus 1 upon B. Okay. So let's simplify it. It will be plus 2B upon 3 into 3. A, B will go uh, in the numerator and it will become 2B plus A. So again, this A plus 2B, A plus 2B will be cancelled. This 3 and 3 will be cancelled out and it will be equal to A, B. So A2, the product of A2 and H1 is also equal to A, B. Hence, B will not be our answer. Now let's check option C. G1 into G2. Okay, so it is simple only. It will be uh, A, B, like a product of geometric means is equal to geometric mean of A, B, like a geometric mean of A, B to the raise to the power N, right? G1, G2 will be nothing but geometric mean of AB raised to the power N. This will be AB uh, raised to power N by 2, right? And what is N here? N is 2 only. So it will be equal to AB. 
Hence, uh, option C, the product of G1 is uh, G1, G2 is also coming to be AB, right? So C also cannot be our answer. <coughs> it will be D. Like none of these, none of the options given are correct. So option D will be correct for this question. Now let's move to the next one. Question number three. Now, what will be the geometric mean between minus nine and minus 16? So numbers are minus 16 and minus nine. And we have to find the value of geometric mean. We have to insert geometric mean between these two numbers. So uh, what is geometric mean between two numbers A and B? It is under root AB, right? So putting the value of A and B, here we get minus 16 into minus 9. So 16 into 9 is nothing but 1, 4, 4. So it will become 12, right? But let me tell you one thing. This answer is wrong. This answer is wrong. The geometric mean of minus 16 and minus 9 can never be a positive number. How can I mean like two numbers are given minus 16 and minus 9. So how can a mean of these two numbers be positive? The geometric mean of these two numbers must be negative, right? This must be negative. So, uh, like if the numbers are negative while finding geometric mean, if the numbers given are negative, like A is also uh, negative and B is also negative. So, there is change in the formula that should be geometric mean should be minus of root AB. Right? So, this geometric mean will be minus of 12, not plus of 12. So uh, our answer will be minus 12. So option B is correct. Hope this is clear to all. Like mean is something that will be in between the numbers. No, So that number must be between minus 16 and minus 9. It can never be positive. It can never be plus 12. It has to be minus 12. So our answer will be minus 12 option B. Okay. So let's move to the next question. Question number four. So it is saying N belongs to natural number and N is greater than 25. If A, G, H denote the arithmetic mean, geometric mean and harmonic mean of 25 and N, then we have to find the least value of N for which this A, G, H belongs to 25, 26 up to N. Like it, this A, G, H should lie between 25 to N. And this A, G, H must be an integer. So for fulfilling this criteria, what will be the least value of N? Okay. So we are having two numbers, 25 and N. So uh, what will be the arithmetic mean? So arithmetic mean for these two numbers will be 25 plus n upon 2. And geometric mean of these two numbers will be under root 25 n. We can simply write it as 5 under root n. And what will be harmonic mean? Harmonic mean will be 2 times a b. It means 2 times 25 n upon 25 plus n, right? So, having given these two numbers, we have found out the arithmetic mean, geometric mean, and harmonic mean. Now, this, the value of a, g, and h should be integer, right? Because as per giving criteria, it should lie between 25 to n. It should lie between 25, 20, uh, like it should be in between 25 and n. And we have to find the least value of n. So 
for having uh, for uh, a to be integer n must be odd right n must be a odd number and for having g to be integer this n should be a perfect square perfect square also so n is odd and n is perfect square so uh, let's move to the options itself so 49 if we see 49 49 is a odd number 49 is a perfect square also similarly 81 odd number plus perfect square plus one then 169 it is also odd number and it is a square of 13 and option d is t uh, 225 now uh, we can do one thing we can put the options like the value given in the options in this h like harmonic mean and we will see whether it is coming an integer or not so if you put the options only 225 this option d option d this let me put first 2 into 25 into 225 upon 25 plus 225. So only this option, this 225 will give me an integral value of h, which will be equal to uh, 2 into, like, let's write it as 50 into 225 upon, this will be 250. So this will go five times, this will be 5, 4, 45. So putting n equal to 225, we are getting, we are uh, getting h, the value of h is 45. Rest, you can put other options also like 49, 81 and 169. The value of h will be not coming an integer. So our option D is correct. So we will uh, take this as our answer option D. Now, now we will uh, take the next question, question number five. Question number five. It is saying that nine harmonic means are inserted between two and three, right? So two between two and three, we are inserting nine harmonic means. So H1, H2, H3, up to H9 and three. So we are inserting nine harmonic means between two and three. Then the value of A plus six upon H plus five, where a is any arithmetic means and h is the corresponding harmonic mean. Okay, so uh, similarly, uh, let's make one more sequence, which will be like, we will be putting nine harmonic, we will be inserting nine uh, arithmetic means. So it will be a1, a2, a3, up to a9. And three. So these are nine arithmetic means between two and three. And we have to find the value of this expression. Okay. Where H, like if we take the second ar uh, arithmetic mean, the corresponding harmonic mean to be taken in this expression. So if we are taking A2, like second arithmetic mean, it should be second harmonic mean. Or elsewise, if you take the fifth arithmetic mean, it should be fifth harmonic mean. So, uh, Let's check it out. Like, uh, what will be the kth, kth harmonic mean? Let's uh, generalize this. So, what will be the kth uh, arithmetic mean between 2 and 3? So, it will be n minus k plus 1 into a plus k into b upon n plus 1, right? How it is coming? Suppose A and B are, uh, suppose A and B are two numbers and we are inserting n 
arithmetic means between these numbers. We are inserting in arithmetic mean between these numbers. So uh, for finding a uh, kth arithmetic mean, this is the formula where A is the starting term and B is the last term. Where A is the first term, or we can say the A is the first term and B is the last term. So uh, the kth arithmetic mean uh, will be given by this formula. So what is N here? We are inserting uh, nine harmonic means. So N is equal to nine. So 9 plus 1 will be 10, 10 minus k. And what is a? a is the first number, 2 plus k into what is b? b is 3. And n plus 1 will be 9 plus 1 equal to 10, right? So it will become 20 minus 2k plus 3k will be plus k upon 10. So this will be the kth, kth arithmetic mean between A and B. And similarly, what will be uh, the kth harmonic mean between A and B? So uh, the kth harmonic mean uh, will be n plus 1 upon n minus k plus 1 upon A plus k upon B. Right? where n is similar, n is equal to 9 and a and b are equal to 2 and 3 respectively. So n plus 1 will be uh, 10 upon 10, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, n plus 1 again, 10 minus k, what is a? a is 2 and what is b? b is 3. So we can simply write it as 10, taking this uh, LCM 6 will go in the numerator and we will be left out with 3 into 10 minus k plus 2k. This will be nothing but 60 upon 30 minus 3k plus 2k will be 30 minus k, right? So this will be the kth harmonic mean. Okay, now we will go to this expression. What is asked in the question? A plus 6 upon A plus 6 upon H plus 5. Okay, so uh, let us consider the kth arithmetic mean and the kth harmonic mean, right? So we have to find the value of this. <coughs> now, what is the kth uh, uh, arithmetic mean? It is equal to 20 plus k upon 10. And uh, this will be 6 upon, what is the kth harmonic mean? Kth harmonic mean is 60 upon 30 minus k. So 30 minus k. 30 minus k. Oh, let me erase it. So it will be 6 upon 60 upon 30 minus k. So 30 minus k will go in the numerator plus 5, right? So Let's cut it and it will be 10. Taking LCM, we are having 20 plus K plus 30 minus K plus this will be 50. So this plus K minus K is getting cancelled out. We are left with 100 upon 10. So uh, let's see. Uh, actually, this expression is not dependent on the value of K. Like, it is not dependent on the uh, position because this k k term is getting cancelled out from the uh, from our uh, expression, right? So it will be equal to ten for any value of k you can take, right? So our option, uh, our answer will be ten to this question. Let's see which option is there. So. 
it will be option C. So option C will be correct. So moving ahead, let's take the next question. Is saying if H1, H2 and HN be in harmonic means between A and B. Okay. So A and B are two numbers and we are inserting in harmonic means between it. In uh, between A and B, right? So we have to find the value of this expression. H1 plus A upon H1 minus A plus nth harmonic mean plus b upon nth harmonic mean minus b. Okay. So uh, let's uh, simplify it. Like Let's first find out the value of uh, first harmonic mean and the nth harmonic mean. So what will be the first harmonic mean? Uh, first harmonic mean will be, we are inserting n harmonic mean, so it will be n plus 1 upon n upon a plus 1 upon b, right? So further we can simplify it as n plus 1 into a b upon <coughs> b n plus a, right? And what will be our nth harmonic mean? Our nth harmonic mean will be n plus 1 upon 1 by a plus n upon b. So it will be n plus 1 into a b up by b plus a l. Okay. Now let's try to solve this expression. So h1 plus a, h1 I am writing as n plus 1 a b upon a plus b n this is h1 plus a upon n plus 1 a b upon a plus b n minus a right let me move a bit to the right hand side and what is this this is the nth harmonic mean, which is n plus 1 a b upon b plus a n plus b upon n plus 1 a b upon b plus a n minus b, right? So, this will become n plus 1 a b plus a into a plus b n and it will become n plus 1 a b minus a into a plus b n and this denominator uh, term a plus b n will be cancelled. Similarly, let's really re rewrite this as n plus 1 a b plus b into b plus a n and uh, this will be n plus 1 a b minus b into b plus a m. Okay. So, what can we do further? Simplifying uh, further, we get, let's open the bracket. It will be uh, easier than a b n plus a b plus a square plus a b n on it will become a b n plus a b minus a square and minus a b n. Similarly, this will become a b n plus a b plus b square plus a b n and in the denominator it will be a b n plus a b minus b squared and minus a b n okay 
So this plus a b n minus a b n will be cancelled. This similarly here also it will be cancelled. So we are left with a b plus a square plus two times a b n. And in denominator we have, let's take a common. So it will be b minus a. Okay. And here we have two times a b n plus a b plus b square, right? And in denominator, if we take b as uh, b as common, it will be a minus b. And here we are having a into b minus a. Okay, so uh, let's take negative outside from this bracket. It will be minus b minus a and this okay so uh, let me change this it will become minus here and it will become b minus a right. so it will become b minus a here and negative sign will come here so taking lcm a b into b minus a so it will be uh, multiplied with b here right so multiplying by b we will have a b square plus a square b plus 2 a b square n minus what will be okay this thing this numerator thing will be multiplied by a so it will be 2 a square b n plus a square b plus a b square okay so moving further uh, this a b square and this minus a b square will be cancelled out then similarly this a plus a square b this minus a square b will be cancelled out and uh, we are left with 2ab square n minus 2a square b n upon a b into b minus a. So in numerator, we can take 2ab n common. 2ab n common. So we will have 2b minus a upon a b into b minus a. So this B minus A, this B minus A will cancel out this AB and this AB will be cancelled out. So this expression, the final value will be 2N. So let's see whether it is there uh, in the option or not. 2N. So yeah, it is there. Option C is correct. Option C is correct for this question. So let's move ahead to question number seven. <clears throat> it is saying the aim of two given positive numbers is two. Okay. And if the larger number is increased by one, the GM of the numbers becomes equal to AM of the given numbers. So let's consider two numbers A and B. Okay. So uh, what will be arithmetic mean of these two numbers? It will be a plus b by 2. And it is given to be 2. So arithmetic mean is 2 for these two numbers. So we can uh, write it as a plus b is equal to 4. Let's make it as equation 1. Now, uh, if the larger number is increased by 1, suppose uh, I am taking b is greater than a. Okay. So now numbers will become a comma b plus one. So if the larger number is increased by one, the GM of the numbers, sorry. So uh, what will be the GM of these two numbers? GM will be under root a into b plus one. So uh, the GM of the numbers becomes equal to the arithmetic mean. So as per question, this under root a into b plus 1 becomes equal to the arithmetic mean. So what was the arithmetic mean? Arithmetic mean was 2. 
So it becomes equal to 2. So squaring both hand sides, we will get a into b plus 1 is equal to 4. So it will be a b plus a is equal to 4. So let's take it as equation 2. Now, a plus b equal to 4 and a b plus a equal to 4. So we can write it as a plus b equal to a b plus a. So this a, we can cancel it out. So we are left with a b is equal to b. So a is equal to a is equal to 1, right? If a is equal to 1, our b will be 3 since a plus b is equal to 4. So we got the value of a, we got the value of b. And now question is asking the harmonic mean of a and b, right? So what will be harmonic mean of these two numbers? It will be 2ab upon a plus b. So 2 times a is 1, b is 3. What is a plus b? a plus b is 4. So this is equal to 3 by 2. So harmonic mean of these two numbers will be 3 by 2. So option A is correct. Now, question number 8 is the last question of this exercise. So let's check it out. What is given? If A, A1, A2, A3, dot 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 a2 and b are in ap then again one sequence is given and they are saying it is in gp and h is the harmonic mean of a and b then what will be the value of this series okay so it is given a a1 a2 a3 up to a2 n and B, this is in AP, okay? And uh, A, B1, B2, B3, B2, and uh, term, and this B is in GP, right? So, we have to find the value of this. And one more thing is given. H is the harmonic mean. H is the harmonic mean of A and B. So we can write H as 2AB upon A plus B. Now let's see what, what we have to find out. Like what we need to calculate. So it is a1 plus A2n upon B1 into B2n plus A2 plus A2n minus 1. This will be B2 into B2n minus 1 plus dot 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 up to A n plus a n plus 1 upon B n into B n plus 1. So, uh, if we can see this A1 plus A2 n, like question is asking for these terms and this term, this term. So, A1 is the second term from starting and A2 n is the second term from the last in this AP. So we know that the sum of numbers equidistant from the starting end to the end is equal to sum of first number and last number. So we can write this as A plus B, right? <clears throat> and this B1 into B2. So question is asking for this product, this B1 into B2. And this uh, sequence is in GP. So here also we know that the product of uh, terms from starting equidistant product, like equidistant terms, 
from starting and equidist uh, from end, the product of these two numbers is equal to AB, like the product of first and uh, last number. So it will be AB. And same thing, this A2 and A2 and minus one. This A2, this is the second term, sorry, third term from starting. And where will this A2 and minus one end will lie? It will be the third term from end. So it will be also equal to A plus three. And similarly, this B2 into B2 and minus one will be equal to AB. Now, how many terms are there? Like if you observe, this is, this is starting from A1 and it is going up to N. So total N terms are there. A plus B upon N. Total N, N terms are there. So uh, it will become N times A plus B upon AB. Okay. Now, what is A plus B upon AB? From here, we can write A plus B upon AB as 2 upon H, right? So it will be N into A plus B by AB is equal to 2 upon H. So this will be 2N upon H. So option A is correct. Option A is correct for this question. So uh, we have finished this exercise and uh, I think uh, it is not that much tough. So, okay, we are closing this and we will meet you soon. Okay, Tata, till then, goodbye, take care.